KT the Arch Degree. All right, thank y'all, thank y'all. <laughs> so for those of y'all that don't know, um, Victor was like, yo, you got any jazz? And I was like, oh man, weather report. And my mother, who's sitting right there, get on, get up, Mama Pill, get on up. That's my mama. She told me how um, her and Sabe used to ride down the coast of California and the weather report there, they're a jazz group and that was the song that he would like play, you know? And when, when I heard it for the first time, it, it made me feel like, you know, when people about to go out and do like a show and they get like real hype, I was like, oh, that's what it sounds like. So I was like, yeah, play that. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all need some herbs. But nah. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out here and supporting Victor, because this is Victor's event. I'm, I'm just a guest, you know, and I'm grateful that he reached out to me and asked me to come and speak as well. But the reason why y'all here sitting in this wonderful surrounded amongst these beautiful people is due to Victor. So please, let's give a round of applause to Victor Bowman. We got Mr. G on the camera. Gotta give Mr. G some love. You know what I'm saying? And then we got my queen in the back. The oracle is back there. Make sure. So I'm about to get to it because y'all was out in the heat. I know y'all ready. <laughs> I know y'all ready. All right. So we were trying to get this projector, the screen is straight, but the projector, we was trying to get this thing to angle it right. This is how it's gonna be today. But we got a mic, and I'm gonna bust this thing on out. All right, so usually, I'm on the stage like a rap star. I got the mic in my hand, I'm jumping from left to right on the stage, all in the audience and everything like that. Today, I'm gonna be on the podium, <laughs> keeping it still so I could go in. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some science first because what y'all fail to recognize is that when you take these herbs, there are potent molecules inside of these herbs and I don't think you understand what these molecules represent. So, I have to get to the molecule first. Once I get to there, then we'll start talking about some other funky stuff. Y'all straight with that? All right. All right, so if you, there we go. If you ask any scientist, what is a field? they're not gonna know how to answer that question. Because when it comes to magnetism and electricity, they lie to all of us. Do you understand? That's why when Sabi said the body is electric back in the 80s, people were looking at him like he was, I don't know what that means. But we need to understand what electricity and magnetism is in the environment that we live in. A field is an ether perturbation. Ether is everything that connects us. 
We focus so much on each other and the physical that we don't recognize that the space does not separate us. I'm going to say that again. Space does not separate us. Space is what connects all of us together. And that is the ether. Ether is a high-density sea moss gel. I'm going to say that one more time for the people in the back. The ether that we live in is like a high-density sea moss gel. It's gelatinous and elect electricity, magnetism, all the technologies we make, what they do is they spin and turn and mix up that gel. And what we experience is the after effect of it. Similar to if I were to pull a rubber band, it will create torsion. If I let that rubber band go, pow, that's electricity. A disturbance of motion, course, arrangement, state of equilibrium, especially a disturbance of the regular and usually elliptical course of motion of celestial bodies that produced by some force additional to that which causes its regular motion. What am I saying? You in a pool, waving your arms in that water, you're not creating anything. You are disturbing the medium and waves are, ca are being carried outward from you. And that's what electricity and sound is, a disturbance, a perturbation. The field that gets disturbed takes on four modalities. Gravity, electricity, magnetism, and, elect and dielectricity. Electricity as we know it is actually a hybrid of electricity and magnetism. Magnetism is the extrapolation of the dielectric field with the loss of inertia as manifest as force and motion. What am I saying there? Magnetism is the creation of things. Electricity is the acceleration away from that creation. That's why when you see electricity, what does it look like? It looks like it's running away. But magnetism is beautiful. It flows and grows and expands. Volume comes from magnetism Centrifugal divergence is force and motion. Centrifugal is widening. It starts like this and it gets wide. Centripetal is wide and then it comes in. So electricity is centripetal. The funnel, the water going down the drain. Magnetism is the volume, the divergence. So dielectric is counterspatial, magnetism is spatial. Dielectricity is our ether under torsion, like I told you before, the stretch, the tension. Think about how we make babies. Isn't that a whole lot of tension going on? <laughs> Electricity is the dynamic, radial, or reciprocating polarization of the ether. It's radial, it's spiraling, and it's going outwards. We're building up, y'all. So when we think of an electron, an electron is a unit, one unit of dielectricity. It's just a measurement of it. So when you hear electron, it's electricity. It's not separate from it. Neither is light, neither is magnetism. It's the same thing would be if I said steam, ice, water. Are those things different? They're all the same, but they're different based on pressure and temperature, and that's all electricity and magnetism is. Let's keep going. Photons are dielectric pulses. All right, so electrons is the induction, one unit of induction, but pulsations are photons. 
All right. Anybody ever heard of the Ouroboros? No. Okay, great. Ouroboros is the snake who eats its own tail. It represents reciprocating energy. Right next to the Ouroboros, which you see right there, that old Olmec Mayan sculpture, you see the aromatic ring of carbon. The aromatic ring of carbon is a Ouroboros. Let me show you. Now, I took that carbon, I laid it down, okay? And what you're seeing is each one of those orange circles represents a carbon. They're holding hands, six of them in a circle. On the bottom, the yellow and blue represents the electrons above that molecule, the electron below that molecule. Next to it, you have a yellow circle on the top, a blue circle on the bottom. One's going counterclockwise, one's going clockwise. This is a vortex of energy and electricity. And I'm only showing you one carbon molecule. You're made up of trillions and trillions of them. So what I'm about to explain to you now, you have to multiply by a hundred thousand trillion so you can understand we have no excuse for being in the state of sickness that we are it's because we want to be and the reason why I have a Nazi up here is because a Nazi the spider represents magnetism because magnetism is where everything is stored at hence your computer your phones you look and see where all that storage capacity is at, it's a magnet. And Anansi the spider represents the stories. Who's heard of Anansi? Wow, y'all don't know about Anansi the spider. Yo, Aesop's fable. Yeah, man, this new generation, boy, I tell you, I don't know what to do, man. So. We learn by information being passed down from the elders to us. And we learn through a story. They don't just say, okay, this is how this worked, this is how that worked. They tell us a story, and in that story, we got high science. That's how it gets passed down. Anansi is an ancient African tale that tells the story of a spider that went to God and asked for all of God's stories. God told Anansi, I'll give you all the stories, but you got to do these things for me. So Anansi was able to do all those things for God with a little bit of trickery, but he got it done. And when he, when he came back to God, God said, here go the stories. And this is why to this day, all the stories that we get are based on Anansi the spider, because the spider represents the shape of magnetism. They do crawl on walls and stuff. Did y'all know spiders are able to fly across the ocean with, with, by shooting their web? They could shoot their web and the jet stream will carry them from New York to the UK. Just in case y'all didn't know that. So here is an example. Look at the white geometrical shape. That is the carbon, it's six-sided. It's dotted, the dotted lines just represent that it's away from you. The white line represents that it's, it's towards you. Think about it like a table, like this podium, and you're looking at a table. Each corner represents a carbon. The green represents the magnetic field that got created. The blue represents the electricity or the current. Once that happens, you now have a stable microscopic version of God's energy. See, when, when, when we say we're in the image of him, like, no, he ain't talking about your nose and your eyes and your looks, your cheekbones. No, you're made up of God. Every fiber of your being is made up of 110% of the creator. And here is the example. 
So we represent a conjugated, meaning a complementary relationship between two geometrical shapes and energies, and that is the centrifugal divergence, the expansion of the torus, which is a donut, or your red blood cells, and the centripetal convergence, which is the, the compression, okay? And that's electricity, or the hourglass shape. When you have these two shapes, this is what fuels the universe that you're in. Anybody seen the man who fell from Earth? Or fell to Earth? Keep your hands up. Wow, that's great though. Y'all get to learn today. There is a series right now called The Man Who Fell to Earth, starring Chittawal Edifor, the brother right here. In this, in this tale, they call him Faraday. Faraday is the name of a physicist, Michael Faraday, who all of our electromagnetic theories based on. More importantly, in order to protect yourself from 5G and all the frequencies, what you need is a Faraday cage. And if you look in his hand, he has a torus. This device is supposed to be a perpetual energy device in the series. And it's based on the geometry of the hyperboloid and the torus. Let's keep going. So when you go into the molecules that are inside of these plants, they are saturated with this potent God force inside of it. So when people say, oh man, ain't no herbs gonna help a person from cancer, AIDS, no, 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 no. Well, McDonald's gave you cancer. How some old artificial McDonald's burger could tear you up, but then when you got God's food, you doubting that it could help you. Wake up. They don't hear me. But it's being recorded, so it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> now, who's heard of Superman? I know y'all heard of Superman. Come on, y'all better raise y'all hands. I know y'all heard of Superman before. Good Lord. If you never heard of Superman, you done seen the logo. And a lot of people would be like, why is the S on his chest? They'd be like, well, the S stands for super. But he came from Krypton. They don't speak English on Krypton. The, come on, bro. Krypton language don't have an S, bro. Come on, what's going on? The S on his chest represents the S curve vector. The magnetic field that is a torus has a glyph that represents his force and it's an S-shaped vector as you see right there. The S on Superman's chest represents the force of God that we all have in us. That's why when he's hurt he has to sit in the sun and then he gets his powers back. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't see how the top of the S got a square and the bottom of the S got a circle. They trying to tell you where the power lies. S curve vector. That's what Superman, he flies because he is gravity. Like, what is that? All right. Now, I know y'all see the word melanin on the screen. Don't beat me up. Okay, because Savy wasn't rocking with no melanin, okay? He said it's carbon. <laughs> but I put this up here because I want y'all to know where you get your energy from. Your energy don't come from eating food and the medications and Red Bull energy drinks. Your energy comes from water. Hmm? Your energy comes from water. See, these carbon molecules that scientists call melanin, right? What they have the ability of doing is breaking up water and putting water back together. Now, to most of you, you might not think that's a big deal, but it's a very big deal. You know why? 
Because every time you split water and you put it back together, the result is molecular hydrogen gas and plasma. Free flowing plasma, which is pure, unadulterated energy. So you're telling me I get that from water? So what I gotta do? Well, you activate the melanin, you activate the carbon in your skin by going in the sunlight, the infrared light in the sun stimulates the water. You start splitting and combining water and you create, as you see right there, the, the, the carbon is in the center and you have different layers. So you got the water getting split into 2H2, which is two molecular hydrogens and two oxygens. And then it comes back together and it makes two molecules of water and four high energy electrons. We make energy just being in our environment. And our environment is not a concrete jungle, baby. With death rays shooting on you every five seconds because 5G means five, 5G means fifth generation. Two, what is it, 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. A gigahertz is one billion, one billion hertz. That means you're getting hit by 30 to 300 billion waves all day, every day, when your heart and brain is only eight hertz and seven hertz. So what type of energy is being waved into you? Do you know? Anybody? I guarantee it ain't nothing to bring an S on your chest. Almost, almost. I'm about to hit it. Red blood cell is a torus. The, the river of life that flows through 60,000 miles of blood vessels in your body. 60,000 miles are in, in your body. You have 60,000 miles of vessels. You got 60,000. Now, now, my man on security in the back, he might have 120,000 vessels in his. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but these toroidal-shaped um, um, cells are transferring energy through 60,000 miles of vessels. Why does it have a torus shape? Hyperboloid and torus because it is the geometry of the universe. It is the geometry of God that you're looking at of the creator. Flowing through you. All right. So let's start talking about some honey. I'm gonna start it off just a little bit. See where we at, okay. Sorry y'all, one second. Yeah, okay. So. Stingless bees, for those who don't know what stingless bees are, stingless bees are a subspecies of the bees you know. The bees that you know that make honey are hybrids, as Dr. Sabi said. The reason why we know this is because the scientific name for these bees is apis, and apis is the name of a cow. Yes, a cow, apis, mellifera, apis is a cow. That's a hybrid bee. The original bees that you read of in all your ancient texts, they're stingless bees. Because how else was people walking up on these bees and getting honey? I ain't seen no beekeeper outfit on the walls in, in, in South America, in Central America, or even in Egypt. So there's stingless bees called Meliponi and Trigona. But there's a, there's a divine creator that they, that they associate here on this side of the globe, where we're from, because not everybody came from Africa, okay? Some of us was already here. And the name of this, these, this stingless bee creator is called Zunan Kab. Zunan Kab. Zunan means the principal lady. So it's a, it's a matriarchal female energy. And then the Kab represents the honey were so revered during the times of the classic Mayan period that they were depicted as gods. You find them in the Madrid Codex, 
14 pages of that codex are dedicated to the breeding of bees, therapeutic properties of the bees, honey and wax. 14 pages in the codex. It's crazy. Almost, 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 almost. All right, so the man who fell to earth, I told you that was the title. The God that, that, that they pray to for these bees, he's called the descending God. Look at him. Now you think he's falling and what it represents is us coming down to earth because when we're birthed, we're birthed head first. We drop up in here, even when we walk. We're falling. So if you want to think about flight, you also have to think about falling because falling is how we learn how to fly as well. I'm going to take a pause right here <laughs> and pick up at taking off in flight. Oh, yeah. Can I get a round of applause? Where's the energy? <laughs> Guys, I mean, is there's nothing superficial about what's going on right now. There should be alkaline flowing through your veins. I'm the only person that doesn't drink alkaline, right? But that's okay. We're going to take a short pause. The state of New York would love to honor KT and Victor Bowman. Um, if we can please welcome and give a warm, warm welcome to Pastor... Denise Hall. Y'all can do better than that. Great afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing on this, what, 100 degree weather? <laughs> Listen, you're here, and we thank God. I'm here just to present to two amazing brothers, one I know a little more than the other. Victor, please come. KT, I know a lot more. But um, let's do what I've been assigned to do. God bless you. Let's start with Victor first. Whereas a great state is only as great as those who give exemplary service to their community, whether through volunteerism, personal commitment, or simply through a lifetime of good citizenry. And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the state, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded. Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead and leaders of Tomorrow Brooklyn Honor Natural Herb Herbal Healers. Now, therefore, be it resolved that as a duly elected member of the State Assembly of New York, I recognize that in Victor Bowman, we have an outstanding individual. Come on, let's give it up for him. <laughs> Let me finish. We have an outstanding individual, one who is worthy of the esteem of both the community and the great state of New York. Signed July 24th, in witness whereof I have here unto set my hand and signature, signed by Latrice Monique Walker, member of Assembly 55. Congratulations. Amen. Thank you. Come on, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. And yes, I am going to read it again. Let me just tell you about KT. KT has been on our Zoom calls at least four times, right? Four or five times. And he came at a time where those of you that know anything about church, we're always eating the wrong things, right? 
That's the, the, the drama in the church. And he came along at a time where we needed to hear something different. And it really was different, right? And what I took away from many of the, the things that he has taught us, don't miss another sunshine. And that spoke volumes. And I'm telling you, I stole it from you, and I'm keeping that phrase. Don't miss another sunshine. The sunshine is going to be good for you. It's good to you, and I thank you for that. I appreciate him. And he did it not asking for anything in return. So it's my delight to also present this to you. Yes, I'm going to read it again. Whereas a great state is only as great as those who give exemplary service to their community, whether through volunteerism, personal commitment, or simply through a lifetime of good citizenry. And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the state, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded. Bishop Lamar Miller, Whitehead, and leaders of tomorrow honor natural herbal healers. Now, therefore, be it resolved that as a duly elected member of the State Assembly of New York, I recognize that in Kamani Thomas. Let's give it up for Kamani Thomas. KT! <laughs> also signed by Latrice Monique Walker. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for coming out. I think that's the show right there, y'all. I'm done. Ah, whew. Give me a second, y'all. I don't get recognized too often. <laughs> And Victor, Victor only 22, son. He's 22 years old with a, with a citation. And I, and I stopped on learning how to fly. Ain't that, ain't that interesting? All right. Y'all ready? Okay, okay. We're going to move forward. Ah, oh, boy. All right. Let's just go on to the next slide. I'm not even doing that with no more. <sighs> We're going to go here. All right. In Kemet, bees were known as the tears of Ra. Ra is the sun. So the sun crying, its tears represented the stingless honeybees. And the honey that they created represented the food of Ra that they made on behalf of him. I see stingless bees as a Netta nano engineer. Nano is one billionth of a meter. One billionth, it's extremely small. This is how you measure viruses. I got a picture of Ant-Man up there because I wanted to give you all a visual representation of how Ant-Man can shrink down to the quantum realm and do all types of wild stuff. The stingless bees are like a quarter to a fifth of the size of a regular bee so they can get in all of those herbs that Sabi always spoke about. The Kukumeka, the Blue Vervain, because those flowers are very small. Those big bees can't fit in there. So we're talking about let me read this to y'all. We may make powerful tonics and compounds, but we are a long way from putting things together like a nano engineer. Imagine surgeons, engineers shrinking their hands down to nano size. Think of all the intricate, meticulous creations that can be formed when applying extraordinary detail in a microscopic atomic molecular level. These nano engineers have the ability to formulate the most efficient, complete plant-based compounds. A plethora of small flowers from medicinal herbs larger bees cannot access. 
I call them Lego maniacs. Assembling secondary plant metabolites like blocks forming genetic nanomachines. Think of the word B. We're called human... Oh, I must have some, some aliens up in the crowd or something. We're going to do this one more time. We're human... All right. So in order for us to be healthy, we're supposed to be in the moment. And they call that to... So why do they call bees? I'll give you this one too. When someone is occupied, they're what? When I have a job and I'm an entrepreneur, I have my own... Holy moly, it's everywhere. B means house. Okay, just like the hive or your body encapsulating your spirit. Housing what they call the kinam or primordial force, animating principle, which is that letter A is Aleph, and that means bull. Didn't I tell you the B was apis? The quintessence of the sun is preserved in the nectar of the flowers in which the bees create a milk we call honey. Let's go here. It takes a bee 10 million trips and 2 million flowers to collect enough nectar to make one pound of honey. So to give you, just to let you know, the, the, the honey pots, the jars I got on the table, 500,000 flowers in each pot. The droppers, 250,000. Concentrated and compressed in a, 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 a bioavailable food that you can put inside and interface in your, in your temple. That's enough to make a pound of honey right there. Stingless bee honey contains 200 distinct compounds, including B12, for the people who say vegans can't get no B12. 200 compounds. All right, so for the diabetics, stingless bee honey has a sugar called trehalulose. Trehalulose is what you call an isomer. It's the same molecule, but it's arranged differently, okay? When you eat fruit, you usually are eating sucrose, which is usually fructose and glucose put together. What the bees do is they consume sucrose and they have enzymes that convert it to this sugar called trehalulose. What's so special about it? Well, it takes three times longer for this sugar to break down and into your bloodstream. And for a diabetic, that's the difference between life and death. For instance, in three hours, I broke all the sugar down and my blood sugar is at 400. But now I took this stingless bee honey and it took nine hours. And it's not at 400 because it took so long. It's called an intermolecular displacement of nectar sucrose. This is the process, enzymatic double displacement reaction. Listen, you can't tell me that these bees didn't come from on high. If they up here doing, I don't know what a double displacement reaction is, but that thing sounds fancy to me. So if you look at the molecules over on the left, they convert it to the molecules over there on the right. And the sensor picture is showing the, the glands that they have that secrete the enzymes that make that process possible. Trehalulose strongly resists crystallization, and this is why you are able to put it in your eyeballs. Because if you put something that can crystallize in your eyes, ah, bye-bye eyes. So this... this page right here I got up is pretty much talking about um, cataracts and um, conjunctivitis. It's talking about the different eye disorders and the fact that this, these, the honey, because it has all of these compounds, 
enzymes and everything else in there, it's able to feed the eyeball because how else do you get things to your eyes? Most of the area of your eyeball don't even have vessels. That's how you know water produces energy because how else does your eye stay charged? It's pancreatoprotective. Fancy word of saying it protects the pancreas. Why is that important? Because for a diabetic, you are usually suffering in your pancreas, your endo, endocrine function, because the pancreas is an exocrine gland and an endocrine gland. Its exocrine function is its digestive function where it secretes lipase to digest fats, so forth and so on, when you're digesting food. The endocrine is the part of the pancreas that puts things in your blood because, see, you don't even know how they, be, they tell you the truth. If it's an exocrine gland based on the digestive system, then what scientists are saying is your digestion is not in your body. Your digestive system is still outside. It's a tube. So it's not in you. It's through you. That's why you got to break food down so it can get absorbed in the walls to get in the blood and the pancreas is both. So that's why when you damage your pancreas like Steve Jobs, you're going to have a problem. But the beta cells that exist inside the pancreas is where the insulin exists and where it's produced at and it helps with that as well. Ceramin. Now, when we heard about the jab, there was somebody who said, oh, you got to take suramin. And people started going crazy about pine needles. But pine needles don't have suramin in there. Pine needles have um, the, the um, shikimic uh, acid or uh, shikimate pathway. Shikimic acid, you find it in anise. Um, and then you find it in pine needles as well, but you don't find Sherman. What I think she was trying to say with the pandemic documentary, she was giving a hint. Because the person was like, is there an antidote? She was like, yeah, there's an antidote. And she was like, Sherman. Sherman is what they store the honey in. So the aspects that make up the, the, this, this Sherman uh, honey pot compose of all the trees, the bark, the, the, the nectar, and it gets all mixed together, and they make these honey pots, and they put the honey inside, and the honey starts to pull from the honey pot, and it gets mixed in there, so you get the best of both worlds. Now, how many people have ever eaten a sugar that prevents tooth decay? I'll wait. Oh, he said, I, I have. <laughs> we'll get to you. Anti-cariogenic, meaning that it prevents cavities and it prevents tooth decay because the bacteria in your mouth cannot digest the stingless bee honey. So you can eat cookies and crackers and all that sweet stuff based on this honey, at least, and not worry about any damage coming to the heat. Matter of fact, it's going to make the teeth stronger. All right. So, we are not just eukaryotic animal cells. We are a galaxy. We are an earth. We are a amalgamation of different organisms, viruses, yeast, bacteria, and animal cells working together to make up your body. Your body is a Benz. It's a spaceship. It's a, it's a plane. And just like all of those engineering marvels, they're made up of parts. And those parts have to work in unison in order for the whole thing to run. And that's how our body works. So when you hear people telling you, oh, there's a viral outbreak, Pande don't listen. Because you are the inductor of viruses. Ain't no virus floating around here in the space. It's in you. And based on your energy and how you treat people and think and act, you can infect another person with your waves. Do you understand? Hence why they got 5G to turn us up. 
So you think them 5Gs is just so you can watch Stranger Things at 3 in the morning? So I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> that ain't how it work. This is the mitochondria. I'm not even about to do that to y'all right now. Y'all know how I talk about the mitochondria. Um, we're going to go here. All right. U.S. Preventative Service Task Force Recommendation Statement. December 20th, 2016, serologic screening for genital herpes infection, U.S. Preventative Services Task Force recommendation statement. This is from the U.S. Preventative Service Task Force. Now, these are the people that, you know, they don't care about you, right? Let's, 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 let's go down. Serologic screening in asymptomatic persons will likely result in a large number of false positive results. Given the limitation of currently available tests, one of two positive results may be false. Y'all must not have heard that. What I just said is, Half of all y'all with herpes don't got it. Half of y'all don't got it. How do I know? Because you took a test. And what is the test based on? Have you ever inquired? Doctor, what does this test tell me? Or it tells you if you got herpes or not. Or it tells me if I got herpes or not. Okay, that's cool. But how do you find that out? Oh, you're kind of inquisitive. Well, since you want to know, we test antibodies. Antibodies? What type of antibody? Oh, the IgG antibody. The IgG antibody? You talking about the most prevalent antibody in my body? They test y'all for herpes with an antibody that is just floating around all the time. Y'all ain't hearing me. Most of y'all don't even got herpes. I got people coming to me, man, I ain't even had a breakout yet, man. It's been four years. You don't got it, bruh. But you keep thinking you got it? Yeah, you're you going to start popping up with a couple bumps then. So that right there should blow y'all away. That's from the U.S. Task Force. That, that ain't no conscious community pseudo round the back curve. Hey, I'm breaking this down to y'all. No, that's their documentation. 50% of y'all don't even got it. So that, that, sh that, should, that should relieve the pressure because what you don't understand is the triggers for the breakouts is stress. And if all you're doing is thinking, oh man, I got herpes, nah, 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 and you don't even got it, and you have a human virome, you have, you have genetic instructions to build herpes, because herpes, chicken pox, shingles, they're all the same thing. Chicken pox is for kids. Herpes is for, you know, 20, 30s, you know what I'm saying? And when you start getting into the 50s and 60s, then it's shingles. It's the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The parasite then caused the mouse immune system to make cytokines, signaling molecules that help summon the immune cells and other factors needed to attack the parasites. But the same cytokines also caused the herpes virus to start producing. Whoa. Now let me, mama, can you get up for a second, please? Real quick, mama. Yes, mama, you my mama. Who else I'm talking to up in here? Go on, stand up real quick. I want y'all to know. Oh, please, clap, clap again, please. This is the woman who's responsible for Frank White and the AIDS getting cured, okay? So. King of New York, King of New York. So, all my mama talk about is 
The Body Snatchers. And that movie that came out back in the day about these parasites and infected people and just took them over. I wanted her to stand up because when it comes to herpes, she was 100% on the money because the parasites are one of the reasons why people get herpes. It's a trigger. When you have a certain level of parasites in your body, it will trigger a pathway that will induce herpes to inflame, to be created, and sometimes even carry the herpes themselves. So thank you, Mama. Now for the first time, we've shown a virus can detect immune system signals that tell the virus to start replicating. The signals are a response to the parasite infection, but the, the virus has developed a way of eavesdropping. <laughs> they, they are so, they're so, they're so dramatic. This is a study um, that says, um, that there's, a, there's genital herpes, it was really herpes uh, labalis, which is genital herpes of the woman, it's, on the, it's in the vagina. And here they're saying how the, a helminth infection, helminths or worms, exacerbates epithelial ulcerative pathology, or in other words, worms cause you to break out. So, 50% of y'all don't got it, okay? So for the other 50, Y'all may have it because you got a bunch of parasites in you. Based on the food you're eating, who you're laying with, sitting on the subway, I'm just saying. Listen, I was at 125th Street the other day, and it don't make no sense that subway looked like that. What, what is it now, Sohal? What's Harlem now? Sohar? Solar? Sohar? <laughs> Terrible. So they, they gentrifying Harlem. They building all, the, all that stuff, and then the train still look like that. It's terrible. I've been seeing that train station since I was seven years old. A lot of y'all might not know this. My mama do. But I graduated from an elementary school that is, why oh, this thing keep coming up? Two blocks down the street, PS20. PS20 is right down the block. That's where I went to school, um, with elementary school with, and I graduated about two blocks down Lafayette, the other direction. And this is my old neighborhood. When This is Victor's event. He didn't know that. So when he locked this thing in, and then, I don't know if you remember, Ma, but we were right next door with Sabi and Kiba next door at the other at the church yeah i know y'all were here but we was also next door as well and i didn't i didn't even realize that till i got here all right all right so this is antiviral action of the this is a type of stingless bee and they're saying against shsv1 where did you go This study is talking about the propolis that's inside the honey and how it affects SHV1, which is the herpes that usually affects the lips, the cold sore, because the virus likes to hide inside of your nervous system. And you have ganglions, which are a, a network of nerves. And there's one called the sacral, and there's one called the trigeminal. So the sacral one is where you get genital herpes, and this is the one where you get the cold sore. This is another write-up talking about uh, the propolis that's inside the honey rich in flavonoids. These are just those molecules that I showed you at the beginning when I was talking about the Taurus and everything like that. These molecules that are inside that honey, okay? Um, here we go. 
as a main prenylated phenylpropanoid, that's the molecule, and chrysin as a main flavonoid showed not only direct anti-HSV1 activity, but also immunological activity against intradermal HSV1 infection, meaning they infected mice through their skin with herpes, and they used this in order to see whether or not it was going to be able to get rid of the herpes. So, you know, when we put this, this, this fly up, a lot of people was commenting, you can't cure herpes, you can't cure herpes. And I'm like, we never said we cure herpes. You don't cure something that's part of you. What you want to do is change your microflora, your bacteria, all of those uh, 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 viruses and things like that into something beneficial for your body whether it, rather than it being something that's going to hurt you. And food, environment, thinking, those are the things that convert it into something that will be negative to your system. This is a list. Let's see if I could, uh, hold on, I'm going to do this. Did it bring it down some? I can read the top ones. All right, so I'll read them out to y'all. All right, but stingless bee honey, guaco, contribo, carambola, which is star fruit. Um, this is South African geranium, umchuk lolooba. Lobo. June plum, which is in the Caribbean. Most of my island folks, they know what June plum is. Spondaeus. Gumbo limbo. Um, Prunella vulgaris, which is self-heal. Lemon balm. Chaparral. Giant horsetail. Duck flower. Conjus crispus. Sorrel. Olives. Olive oil. Olive oil has a lot of um, old European in it, even though people sell the extract, you still can get it out of just the olive oil. Mulberry, sensitiva, infrared light, ultraviolet light causes outbreaks. Infrared light heals you. Lysine, arginine ratios in your food, omega-3, omega-6 ratios in your food, French thyme or broadleaf thyme also in the Caribbean, and circadian rhythm. These are all modalities, if you're dealing with herpes, you should get familiar with. <laughs> all right, COVID. We, we round in third, y'all, we round in third. About to close this off. COVID. So, because of Mr. G, the entire community was able to find out about COVID before they even shut everything down because he came to me and was like, hey, KT, what you want to talk about? And had he never did that, I would have never said, hey, let's talk about the coronavirus. And he was like, okay. He didn't know what that was. No one knew what it was. We filmed that in January 2020. No one knew what a coronavirus was then. And on his channel, what is that? 450,000 views at this point now. We, we, he put it up the top of February and everything I said in them 20 minutes done came to pass. So, you know, people say I ain't done nothing for the community. <laughs> I think I've done a couple things, I don't know. Now, COVID, let that thing go. COVID is, is a fuck. COVID is nothing but the flu and drag. It's just the flu and drag, y'all. That's all it is. You take that wig off and take, t get off them high heels, take that makeup off. Man, you ain't nothing but the flu. <laughs> look at the flu numbers. Y'all go yourselves and look at the CDC and look at the flu numbers. They just dropped 90%. Everybody just healed the flu all of a sudden and now COVID done took over. Ah. 
Stingless, these, these, are, these are studies talking about how the stingless bee honey has been very effective against people who have these symptoms of COVID. The symptoms of COVID ain't nothing but toxemia and radiation poisoning. Beamed by the frequencies and living in alien light, wearing shoes, broken off, not grounding, not seeing the sunrise, not getting sleep, staying on your phone all day, getting beamed with seven... 7,000, uh, um, what are they called, the color temperature, 7,000 Kelvins of the screen at 2 o'clock in the morning, destroying your melanopsin and your melatonin, unlinking all of your chronobiology, thus nothing knows, UPS don't know when to deliver the package, when to pick up the package. That's what you're dealing with, not COVID, because COVID ain't nothing but covert ID. I'm... Just making sure it's still on, that's all. Stingless bee honey is responsible for cerebral plasticity, for post-stroke vascular cognitive impairment. You ever seen a post-stroke victim before? Whole left side done, left face can't new. Stingless bee honey is one of the ba best brain foods. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Because your eyeballs are your brain, your eyeballs are your brain. It's your brain outside. That's what your eyeballs are. It's a it's direct connection. So when you put honey in your eye, your, your brain is like, mm, oh, uh, mm, oh, uh, oh. I ain't never ate a day in my life. And it starts giving them all of these plant metabolites and and, and molecules, and it starts to feed for the first time. This is a whole pathway I am about to go into that. It helps with memory. Okay? For those people dealing with memory loss, not remembering things as much, you know, what it does is it increases something called brain-derived neutrophic factor, and it... it Plasticity means that your brain is able to change shape, get bigger, get smaller, grow, shrink. And a lot of us, our brains got holes in them. We got holes in our brains. We do. You think I'm playing. You think that's, that's just me being figurative language? No. <laughs> All right. So here it says genes involved in synaptic function. Okay. Improving cerebral plasticity including spatial work and memory. Why? Because a bee who levitates does not fly. Bees hover, they don't fly, okay? Because they create sound with their wings and they create two toroidal fields under each wing and that's why they're able to go think, 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 think. Like that's a lot of control. We take things for granted. That means their pineal is off the charts. So when we eat, their gift, what do you think it does to your pineal and your spatial memory? Where am I? You know? All right, we're getting close, y'all. This is more stuff on the memory. I ain't going to read y'all to death. I'm just going to go to the points. Natural enzymes microflora are in the honey. So it's a pro and a prebiotic. It feeds your gut flora. And there's microflora in it from the bees. Diversity is what creates the health in your gut. The more diverse your microbiome is, the healthier you are. The most diverse concentration of stingless bees is Central and South America. Not Africa, not India, not China, not Australia. It's right here at home. All right, maybe I'll explain this a little bit. Who knows what free radicals are? Great, not a lot of people. All right, a lot of us get hurt because we have free radicals. A free radical is an electron that was on an atom that is unpaired. So it's like somebody who's incomplete. 
Yeah. And, and you really, all of us are like that. Like, there's a part of your life where, you know, you feel a little empty at and you're trying to fulfill. And that's what a free radical is, is an unfulfilled electron. He is just sad and depressed. So because he's sad and depressed, he tan everything up until he finds what he's looking for, and that's what an antioxidant is. So the blue represents the electron being donated from the antioxidant to the red circle, which is the free radical tearing your body up, and then it becomes green, it becomes stable now. And that's another process that occurs with this honey. Anti-aging. So I got a story to tell. Real quick, American Ninja Warrior, anybody? It's my joint, right? How, how many of y'all know over in Greenpoint, they just built a Ninja Warrior training facility open to the public? Me and my queen went there the other day, met a 17-year-old who's on Ninja Warrior, and he's a trainer. 17-year-old young black man, bro. He saw me on them rings, he came over there, he was like, I'm about to give you some pointers. So I'm swinging from the rings, you know what I'm saying? I'm just living my life. And I didn't have no gloves, I had to use the powder, so I'm starting to get a callus on my, on my hand, right? I do my last little reach, and it ripped the entire layer of my skin off to the fascia. I had, a little, I had a little trap door flap, and I could have I took a, a, a Skittle or a, a Tic Tac and put it in my hand. That's how deep the hole was. So you know what I said? I said, great! I got a testimonial I could have in time for the event. So I started putting honey on my hand every day, and in three days, it healed it. I literally was able to look at my wound and I saw the stitches of the collagen around the perimeter. I've never seen that before. It looked like crystals. Then the next morning, it was a layer. I was like, what? Second layer, then it was the level of my palm. And now it's pretty much there. I just got to get like the color back, you know, to the regular, you know, probably another few days, but ain't nothing ever healed my hair that quick. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to see myself, what it does. Now, the only thing that trumps the honey is if you mix the honey, wait for it, ooh! If you, if you mix the honey with sea moss gel, oh my God, because what happens is, see, the, 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 the carrageenan that's inside the, the, the sea moss that makes the gel up, it plays a scaffold, or rather, it, it tells your fibroblast how to build. So it, it just does it perfectly and seamlessly, you know? So I would suggest anyone who got any of that honey, mix some of that with some sea moss gel, put it in your fridge. You cut yourself, anything happen, put that on it and watch what happens in three days. The jab. Go ahead. Hey. <laughs> they like, boo. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to get into breaking the jab down. I have a jab decoded series on my Patreon. Three parts, two and a half hours each, seven and a half hours all together. It's all there. I'm going to talk about what the honey do. For those that have had to get the jab, for your job. It's anti-mutagenic. What does that mean? It reverses mutation. What is reverse mutation? From the aberrant state of a gene back to its normal or its wild type state. Your original gene state is called the wild type state. That's why baby was like jungle, butt naked in the jungle, wild. That's what the scientists call your genes. So the honey is able to perform a process called reverse mutation. Increases sperm production. 
enhances libido, also stimulates um, um, the woman during her cycle and her ovulation period. So it's a great, great uh, food if you're trying to make a baby. Or if you're a brother and you're just trying to get that libido back. You might be trying to get it back. All right. Tying the micro with man and man with macro, aligning a rainbow bridge between the two as man as conduit for the communication of both. That's what the bees are doing. They're playing a medium to connect us to God and the underworld, which is not hell, but it is a world on a different scale, smaller than ours. That's what the underworld is. Honey is a fascia-like Faraday cage for radiation. Think about it. Bees create a Faraday cage themselves to protect everything. When you take it, it becomes a fascia-like Faraday cage in your body, protecting you from radiation and non-native electromagnetic forces. Stingless bees have the original DNA. No mutation from the days of the Olmec, which is our ancestors of this land. Ye are the descendants of the Olmec, meaning there is a gauge to measure your genetic integrity and the honey sets our DNA back to the wild type. Thank you. Y'all yeah, give a round of applause for KT, the arch degree. No further ado, we're going to keep it going. Please, guys, give a warm, warm, warm welcome for Alkaline Zen. Yes, indeed. Y'all can do way better than that. Grand rising, everybody. How we doing today? I love this high vibrational electric crowd. Guys, just do me a favor. I know we have some people in the back. We got a lot of people seated. We're going to do a 60-second drill. We're going to make sure everybody is ready to receive what we are here for today on the highest levels. Everybody, rise for me briefly. Stand for me real quick. If you got something in your hand, I mean, you got a phone, cool. But we're going to shake it out and make sure we have no tension in our shoulders, no tension in our body, no stress. And we're going to reach for the sky for about 10 seconds. Ready? Get it. And don't just fake it. Actually reach like you're reaching for something. And then bring your arms down sideways. I know, I know, I know. I know. Make it work. Reverse. And then bring it on the waist and bring, and bring it around town. Yeah, yeah, SpongeBob, bring it around town. That's right. Reverse one more time. A final shakeout and set your attention for what you want to vibrate and manifest next in this universe. Are you with me? Can I get a say? Be seated, my people. Thank you so much for joining us again here today. And you know, cannot follow with enough information after the legendary brother is still on his journey, KT. It's an honor to speak here with him and Victor today. And I'm so grateful the community continues to grow. And I like to touch on the intangibles, the nuances, the things of the alkaline lifestyle that we tend to overlook the simple yet most powerful healing tools. Whether it's starting our day intentionally with diaphragmatic breathing and taking advantage of the first breath in the most proper and intentional way, kind of like how we just had a sample of just now. And I don't mean just by striking a pose or being in nature. I mean actually intentionally setting that energy and moving that by beginning to practice full breathing, not chest breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, moving with a muscle in order to actually fill your lungs nearest to their fullest capacity. This is what the alkaline lifestyle is really about. It's not just about pH, as many have talked about, the potential of hydrogen, right? An indication of nature's way, how we measure 
the mineral density in the foods that we can get from nature, the bioavailability, what we as human beings can really do with it. And that's so important to understand what the true goal actually is. You know, I tell my clients all the time, you are not your thoughts. There are countless amounts of things that are altering the oxygenation levels of us on a regular basis. Clogging our pores, clogging our cells, our villi, our microvilli. And it's a process, it's a journey. A lot of times clients come to me and they say, well, how often should I detox? How often should I cleanse? How long will it take for me to be clean, Zen? You know, that's, a, that's what everybody really wants to know. Well, what does healing look like? It's a journey. If you're not familiar with the mucoid plaque, okay, the tar, the average person, the reason why we only tend to gain more after high school, after certain ages, is because we never properly cleanse the colon. That's what everybody's real goal is, to remove the sludge that's gonna allow us to properly absorb the minerals from all the beautiful herbs that you're investing in in this room. A lot of times we make the investment and we don't properly use it. A lot of people talking about the duck flower detox, Aristolochia grandiflor. What about the preparation? Weaning yourself down, less solids, more fluids, not eating the day of. A lot of people don't follow any of these rules and boy do they pay the price as a result of it. Okay, so not just knowing the proper statutes and you know strategy to step into your fast, but building up your fasting muscles. Okay, we all want to do, I know I immediately wanted to do the information this 45 day water herb sea moss detox that I've you know seen so many have amazing results from sensei sebi all the way down to hundreds of thousands if not millions around the world today taking advantage of the power of fasting just to get a, a, a thermometer of the room a feel of the room how many people have fasted for more than three days before raise your hand Phenomenal, that's, that's extremely positive, okay? And that's, that's exactly what it's about, building that muscle up. One more time, how many people have fasted over 21 days? I'm, I'm curious. Wow, that's a lot, of, that's like almost half the room. You guys are serious about cleansing your body, so you know what we're talking about, okay? And there's levels to it. But for those that are not as familiar, just overstand this, we have a routine. KT touched on a lot of the points, and I'm just gonna go in a little bit more detail about a couple of them. Five of the most powerful healing tools are free. We already said diaphragmatic breathing, and then we just touched on fasting. Always remember, it doesn't cost more to eat less, right guys? Taking away, this is one of the truest situations where less is more. The body is the most powerful technological tool, and activating autophagy, cellular regeneration, is what we want to do every time that we increase the length of time that we're fasting. So for my brand news, for my day ones, who has never fasted before? Okay, all right, we got like about 10, okay, or so. For my brand news, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. And for those that are wondering about their loved ones and the people in their lives and the ones that we wanna help convert over, I know a lot of times people ask, well, Zen, you know, it's so hard for me to get people to, that I care about to have an open mind towards this lifestyle or to stop worrying about me and my weight loss and my, you know, progression on my journey. You know, they always telling us we need to eat more and stuff like that, right? So, you know, do, you have to know what your true strategy and what your true goal is. You have to know that when you cleanse the cold, and you clear that 20 to 30 pounds of sludge that the average American is walking around with that you may be a little bit more uh, ribby than you're used to seeing or you may not have as many curves, ladies, as you're used to seeing. But the news is, is that your cells have cleansed on an intracellular level. You have flushed your body out and given it a chance to begin anew, which is the reason why we started in the first place. Okay, always remind yourself yourself of that. That's the reason why we start. That's why we do what we do. So to optimize, again, you want to start your day not just with your breath, but have you looked at nature lately? You know what dogs, what cats, what a lot of nature, what the animals do, the first thing they do when they open their eyes, they hit a mean full body stretch. 
okay? Learn from nature. Let's always take advantage of the clues. It's not just fasting. It's not just hibernation. It's also the stretching. We are hitting ourselves from several different angles. Even right now, I had to ask you to stand up because sedentary disease is ruining lives. We are sitting a hundred times more than we're walking. And this is not the lifestyle or the culture that our people come from. Okay, traditionally speaking, we've walked way more than anybody in the history of the planet, right? So we have to get back to being active, not afraid to break a sweat. My previous pieces that I've done with Victor have started about inner and outer movement. KT also touched on UV, ultraviolet rays, instead of the other types of rays that we can access. Well, guess what? Saunas are life-changing healing tools that you can add to that list too. Saunas, we have to, there's certain toxins that we can only sweat out of the body, okay? So get used to pampering yourself in ways that you haven't before okay taking care of your soles of your feet because there are pressure points and meridians and chakras and mudras to help us with the shadow work to understand why we're not feeling the way that we're supposed to be feeling on a regular basis don't think it's just you detoxing is a challenge on levels that really does not stop everything we eat leaves a certain amount of residue in the colon okay everything we eat and you know for those that like I said, that are brand new. You don't know where to find your stuff. We have our international markets, right? We have our Hispanic, our Caribbean, our Asian markets that have the, the carts out front. We even have new technologies today like thrivemarket.com, freshdirect.com, instacart.com. Well, they would not only only tell you, okay, what's on every, every alkaline item on the shelf in a supermarket, but you can tip somebody $10 and they will go and get every alkaline food and bring it to your house for you. I mean, it really, in certain ways, doesn't get easier than it does in 2022 to go alkaline. Now, we are presented, okay, as I get back to what a healing lifestyle looks like, and we're going to talk about the mental aspect of that briefly as well too, okay, because remember, healing begins in the mind. Our cells hear our thoughts. That's why fear lowers your immune system right? And that's why we talk about sourcing our herbs from the rawest part because we need to go back and connect with nature to heal us. We said deep breathing, right? We said fasting, but what about grounding into sun gazing to start our days, as KT also touched on briefly. These remove negative energy from within the body. These activate healing mechanisms that we've left behind. And we're getting hit silent weapons for very quiet wars that we're currently undergoing. We talked about uh, cell phones and radiation and microwave technology. How many of my people in this room, and don't be shy, are using AirPods, wireless air sets, to listen to their music on a daily basis? All right, please be aware that these are low frequency radiation emitting devices that are transmitting through your one and only home, okay? And these things are all connected to a lot of the electromagnetic sensitivity that our people are undergoing. We all have an electromagnetic field. We all have that. And we, some people, they don't know why they're experiencing the, the skin disorders, the mental, the emotional, the anxiety, the depression, and more that we are bombarded. We're a new generation. We're the guinea pigs that have never experienced this type of a radiation effect on 24 7. The routers, that Faraday cage that Katie talked about, please don't take that information lightly. And we're going to add on top of that. Okay, um, I got to return my pieces where they belong, my neck pieces with Organite. Okay, if you have not heard of the stone, the Orgone technology, the Organite stone, as well as the Shungite, which I believe Victor Eason is providing for the people, these are the intangibles that people are coming out of tune with. Well, m maybe not the people in this room, because I'm sure many of us have tapped in with some stone work before and added to a collection, but make that safe space. Don't just add the stones to your lifestyle. Keep them in your purse. Keep them in your bag. Begin to protect yourself more regularly. Regularly, that way when you're detoxing you're actually detoxing keep that phone on airplane mode unplug that router when you go to sleep and teach your loved ones about what we are learning about this fight is not going to be one this natural divine alignment fight that we know what we're in without even volunteering to be in it okay because 
I just woke up like this, right? Um, you know, this is, this is actually from us working hard to wanting to be the best versions of ourselves. And as we know, there are a lot of people out there that believe there are too many people around, that there are not enough uh, resources for everybody to be their best selves. And that's not to even tap into a fair notion. That's for us to know how powerful re we really are because look at what happened to their mandates that they attempted to force on New York City, okay? The people spoke and they had to fall, okay? And there's always going to be the right to choose if we don't stay silent in the face of injustice. I knew that there were going to be tough decisions for many of us to have to be made, and there are more to come, okay? So speaking of the times and the climate, it's so important to have your structure and your routine. We have that deep breath. We have that breathing control. We have that stretch. And then you want to have your hot this is how an alkaline day, ideally, especially when detoxing, is supposed to look to help yourself get used to being more uh, back in alignment, not looking for coffee to start your day, not looking for sugar to start your day, how to get the people that you love to feel more at ease and more open-minded to sea moss, herbs, fasting, and all the like, start their day with fruit. Start their day with an alkaline tea. Have them get used to not having that toxic starter. And truth be told, we know sleep, the melatonin and the serotonin production, it's all connected. If you really want to reset your life, your lifestyle, when you get out of whack or those you love, have them go to sleep at a decent time. Have us not actually eat a meal past 8.30. Let's really get back in circadian rhythm because we do know there is a proper time the body does everything better, okay? I'm talking about work out. I'm talking about learn. I'm talking about make love. I'm talking about detox and eliminate from the body. There is a time that we do everything better. And as we said before, at a minimum, we should be teaching to detox with the seasons, okay? And, and that's not the only time we get caught in the rain. We expose ourselves, fall asleep, um, you know, in front of the air conditioner we do so many different things that are going to challenge our immune system put the body in a crisis state mode right um and this is why when we say healing begins in the mind knowing that i am in a state of healing say it with me i am in a state of healing is something that we should affirm each and every day as a mantra as the backbone of our belief system and I say belief system intentionally because alkaline living is not just what you eat. It is the energy that you feel. When you get to detox and cleanse, you listen differently. You feel differently. You think differently. And food most definitely tastes differently. Okay, these are all the things that we know that are to expect on the road of detox and cleansing. It is all connected. And when we do tap in and feel Okay, our rejuvenated selves. So often we talk about detox and we forget to have that emphasis on revitalization. Okay, the foods that we eat are just damage control. The real healing begins with these mineral dense superfoods, AKA the herbs, because unfortunately mineral depletion in the soil have us looking at 90% less nutrients in the whole foods that we're eating today compared to what our great grandparents had access to. Okay, we have to know the situation and the scope and what, again, what healing really looks like. Okay, um, I've watched people normalize such high levels of disease. I kudos to everyone that's taken a step in the right direction. But our skin is talking to us. Our abdomen is talking to us. Our migraines and headaches are talking to us. We're not eating the bowls of fruit that we're supposed to have in the AM or the bowls of leafy greens that we're supposed to have in the evening time. Talking about, you know, chlorophyll, liquid chlorophyll, Zen, and Moringa, Zen, and black seed oil, Zen, and oh, I had a cheat meal, Zen. There are no cheat meals. There are only cheat lifestyles okay that, that's the only there's no in between because when you have things that alter your chemical reaction and reset you and then re-spark acidity and mucus in you again and put you back closer to acidosis as opposed to and you know there's so much attack on the alkaline lifestyle okay this wasn't even in the notes but i want to make sure and tell everybody it's so important to do your own research and know for yourself from the people thinking they're gaslighting and attacking the community talking about you can't alkaline your body to alkaline water doesn't work 
to all the things, you know, spring water is contaminated and organic is fake, it's a hoax, to all the things. See, they don't know, they do the research to just know that one item alone that is barred from organic foods, glyphosate, alone is a pet, an herbicide that has caused the death for millions of people in this country and is currently in lawsuits, class action lawsuits for hundreds of thousands more to come. Just that one chemical, okay, which they're also putting in these jabs and so many other things, including the tampons and the breakfast cereals. We have to know the chemical ingredients and the reactions of the foods that we're putting in our body, guys. It's, they, they will stop at no levels. And speaking of not alkalizing the body, we know that the, all the organs have their own pH. They have their own regions. We know that the stomach pH is normally acidic and it is not meant to be alkalized. We are talking about blood pH, cleansing the blood, releasing the blood viscosity, clearing up the atherosclerosis, the mucoid plaque that most people are building up from the age of 10 in America on average without even knowing it, which is why cardiovascular disease still reigns supreme right alongside cancer running the race for most deadly disease. Truth be told, it's the doctors because they're third leading cause of death and they're the ones fueling the top seven or eight causes of death in the nation, right? So we have to know okay, what healing looks like. It's a progressive transition. Don't expect yourself to get there overnight if you're not 100% alkaline, okay? And don't even, if you've never fasted before, don't put the pressure on yourself to go straight to water fasting. There are levels for a reason. Raw, whole food first, then raw, right? As well as plants, excuse me, fruits and vegetables only, okay? Then we have our solo fruit, mono fruit, mono veggie. We have our liquid level. There are levels for a reason. You should spend time at every level. Meaning that if you just did a level for the first time, unless, you know, you have the retreat and you're going to go away and you're going to control your environment and you're going to have no need to demand the energy from your body because the amount of energy that the body is reallocating when it is fasting to eliminate decades of sludge and waste and, and muco mucoid plaques and parasites is it something beyond most can even really comprehend. It's something scientists and doctors of the allopathic lifestyle can't even explain. They can't explain how the body gets the energy to, you know, destroy stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer and all these other, you know, le le leukemias and lupuses and autoimmunes where, where the body is attacking itself. They can't explain how the body fixes itself like this. Okay, and of course, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. We know that almost all diseases, the reason why we're grabbing these herbs, they're a result of mineral deficiencies. Okay, that's why we start talking about the lifestyle, having that deep breath, that stretch, that tea, that smoothie, that fresh fruit with your sea moss, right, with your zen moss, okay, along with having that fruit breakfast leading into your lunch being the biggest meal of the day. You actually want your, if you're going to make a, a chickpea burger or a quinoa or a wild rice bowl or an alkaline pizza, whatever you're making for the day, your alkaline fried chicken, which I see many people loving out there, okay? Um, you're going to want to do that at the lunchtime. You want your grain to be earlier in the day and have your leafy green portion for dinner. Myself included, have to remind myself, Balance is so important. Balance is so important. It's so easy to get caught up in just staying on the list, not realizing that CMOS may give us a wide spectrum mineral dose in our life, but does it give us enough of every mineral that we need? No. This, if that was the case, we wouldn't need to eat anything else, right? Okay, so this is why it's important to overstand the balance of all the foods, the cruciferous leafy green vegetables. As a matter of fact, those are in the top five anti-cancer. And if you wanted to know, okay, what you can focus on to help yourself in some ways amongst the other seeds that we have, just to make sure our new people are familiar, we have our leafy greens like our dandelion greens, our collard greens, our lamb's quarters, our arugula, our, uh, you know, chlorophyll fillers, right? As well as 
Okay, we have then our antioxidant berries, our elderberries, our aronia berries, our, they're the true. Even when you freeze them, releasing more antioxidants and more H3O2, more true structured water. Don't forget to eat that water, okay? We talk about watermelon and these guys and the key lime for a reason, okay? They are backbones to our community. Then we have papaya and papaya seeds. Some of the other guys that are overlooked and not truly used. Sun baking those bad boys and using them as a black pepper, the papaya seeds, has changed lives for many. Just one of many tools, like our mushrooms, our mycelium, the chaga, the reishi, the turkey tail, okay? All these guys... When it comes to the situations that we're facing with food shortages and inflation, making food scarcer and more, you know, tougher to come by for higher nutrient dense superfoods, that means we need to overstand and go back and tap in with our foraging, right? Learning how to plant and grow again, right? I think they say, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And we are coming back around again full circle to a time where homes, homesteading and people overstanding the power and growing your own food has really changed more lives than I'm, I'm, I'm literally overjoyed with the results that I'm seeing out here. It's time that we pass these tools back on intentionally. You can grow your mushrooms in a closet. Okay, you can grow them in, in I mean, I'm, I'm being facetious. I'm saying, you know, you can grow them almost anywhere. You do not need a lot of room. You have windowsills. You have fire escapes. You have, you know, things that we may not even need that we can make room for. We have community gardens. Okay, we have even abandoned lots. Sometimes approaching the owner of a, of a business that has that outdoor space. I've been honored to be able to take part in two community gardens that we started just by approaching a business owner and asking them what they wanted to do with the space that they had out back. Okay, sky is the limit. I think it's really time for us to become more creative in the ways that we're looking to enhance our lifestyle and change the lifestyles of those that we care about. Okay, we are so much more powerful than we know. Okay, so to finish off, okay, on that lifestyle, that alkaline day that you want to maximize and optimize, having your liquids, spacing them out before your meals, in between your meals, not having them with together. I mean, there's food pairings. There's always another level, a higher focus, another intentional way that you can detox and cleanse and have your body operate on a higher level. And then there's the emotional side to it. There's the mental side to it. There's the amount of stress that we're ignoring, that we're allowing to overtake us in our lives. So I always want to remind people again that healing begins in the mind and that it's so important to be the control of your environment as much as your ability. The serenity prayer is a powerful tool to know the difference between the things that you can and cannot change and to not pour energy into things that don't serve you. Okay? This is what the alkaline lifestyle and that energy that really tapping in and listening is about. All right. Um, I know KT, um, you know, he talked about these powerful life saving tools. We're going to practice more. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Okay. I know a lot of that information may have sounded like gibberish to some people that have never been to an alkaline event before. Give, your time, you give yourself time to digest. Give yourself time to practice more, to actually experience the meals, the food, the flavors, the seasoning. There are so many KTs, Victors, and people doing the work in our communities that need our support. And we really have to do our best to search ourselves out and search them out and come together right now. I really want to see our people do the best we can, really when it comes to controlling our own food supply and controlling our destiny. Distilled water, alkaline water, spring water, these are the things that people talk often about. Um, we just want to do better than we did yesterday. If you have something with less toxins in it, okay, less chemical additives in it, then you're doing better. Of course, ideally, we'd all want to drink coconut water fresh every day straight from the coconut or have our spring water, you know, straight from a, a geothermal, you know, or not a geothermal, but a fresh spring water spring, okay? Um, we want to have it the ideal way, but sometimes you may have to settle for some bottled coconut water or sometimes you may have to do distilled water from a distiller and use your key lime to alkalize it, to add your minerals back into it. There are more than one way to make sure that we get these things done. 
okay? Um, and again, it's not a race, it's a marathon. Healing is a marathon. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Take your time with your journey, okay? Um, I'm super grateful because I'm from Brooklyn and a lot of people didn't believe that plant-based living could become a thing in the, in the African-American community. And now look at the power of us voting with our dollar and letting our voice be heard has done. How many companies, right, are now making plant-based meals, okay, from, I mean, please, we don't want to run out and grab impossible foods and live on that, okay, but it is to show you the power of voting with your dollar and setting your intention, making this come full circle, set your intention to start every day, Set your intention for the businesses that you want to support, the people that you want to have in your life, the, uh, the energy that you want to cultivate, okay? And you doing your best and being patient with yourself. Unfortunately, studies show that 70% of self-speak, if not more, is completely negative, okay? And that's why I always want to remind people to stay self-aware and be conscious of the way that you talk to yourself you talk to your, those around you, you talk to your food, you speak life into your water because that changes the molecular structure, not just of the water that you're taking in, but of yourself internally, okay? You are the vibration setter, you are the riser, you set the energy in every room you go into. Thank you guys for listening today. I appreciate you. Do your best every day. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let you guys take a 10-minute stretch, relax, get your alkaline brains ready and tuned, all right? So you got 10 minutes. We're going to continue upon that afterwards. Um, network, get to know each other. Yes, indeed. I am the king indeed. That's Mr. G. That's DJ Bronson, a.k.a. Muscles. And you guys are here tuned into the messengers. Yes, indeed. His father is the great late Dr. Sebi that lives within all of us. Let's be clear. Come on now, clap your hands. Without that man's sacrifice, we wouldn't be here now. With no further ado, I would like to introduce Mr. Victor Bobe. Oh, yes, indeed. I would like to also call someone to the stage, Cesar Bowman. Cesar, come on up here, playboy. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Come on up here, looking all fresh and clean. How you feeling, brother? You looking good, brother. Smell good, look good, alkaline out. Is that alkaline cologne? All right, brother. Yes, go ahead. You want to talk to him? So I want to give you this to my brother. You know, this is my brother, Cesar. I want to know everybody know him. So this is for your mom you. What is it? Is it? It's an award? Huh? Open it up, Cesar. You can open. Let's see what's going on here. Let's open this up. I'm only, I'm only up here because you know Victor, Victor speaks Spanish, y'all. Yeah. So I'm just a translator right now. All right, what we got here? Uh-oh. Oh, you got to read that, brother. We got to read it. Okay, so whereas... A great state is only as great as those who give exemplary, exemplary service to their community, whether through volunteerism, personal commitment, or simply through a lifetime of good citizenry. And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the state, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded. Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead and leaders of Tamar Brooklyn in honoring natural herbal healers, now therefore be it, Resolve that as a duly elected member of the State Assembly of New York, I recognize that in Ma'a Bowman, we have an outstanding individual, one who is worthy of the esteem of both the community and of the great state of New York. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and signature, Latrice Monique Walker, membery, member of Assembly 55th. AD. Powerful. Powerful. Absolutely powerful. You're the man, brother. Congratulations. All right, Victor, Mr. Bowman, take it away, sir. Thank you, bro. Much love, bro. Oh, okay. I'm 
Thank you. I love you, bro. Uh, oh. So the nigga is back. Oh, I want to say thank you to everybody to come. You know, we need to remember something. This little event or this seminar, I don't care about your feeling, you know. We need to start to care about the truth. Truth is not feeling. It's reality, you know. So we're going to... How are we going to start? My name is Victor Bowman, a.k.a. Dr. Sevi Song, you know. It's making me happy to everybody be part of this project. You know, I call my brother KT, you know, because we need unit, uh, uniform. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's making me happy, my brother Cesar, you know, Mama Peel, Mr. G, KT, everybody, you know, Alkaline Healing Earth being here, you know, I feel happy yesterday to be like a little bit, I don't know, you know, we went to Philly. We did one, something over there, it's not too many people come, you know. I tell Mr. G yesterday, I think you are going back to home. And Mr. G told me like, no, not going back to home, you know. If somebody from here, I'm forget the name, Hen, you know. He called me yesterday like, what time, like nine? Like 10, right? He called me, Victor, you don't need to go home. And I tell him, why? Because you are lost a lot of weight. He tell me, okay. He started to tell me the story. He, how old are you? 22, you know. It's like me, I'm 22. I started this journey in 2000. You know, welcome to United States, you know. I yeah, feel very happy to be part of this community, you know, to the organic community. It's not about black community, it's about everybody. You know, everybody any healing, you know. So I'm going to tell you one story, you know. I, before I come to America, I think like everything's going to be about love, you know, in this journey. I went to Chicago 2000, 2019, you know. The nation this line invited to me to go to Chicago uh, to do one interview, you know. To do a, a speak about healing to the community. It's making me feel happy. One brother from the nation this land invited to me to speak about healing to the people, you know. You know, when I get to the interview, you know, Wesley Mohammed, I don't know if you know Wesley Mohammed, you know, Wesley Mohammed start to argue with me about milk. Everybody know milk is not good, you know. He start to tell me milk is good for black people. And from that day, I learned a lot of people is not about integrity, you know. How are you going to tell your own community about Mel is good for you, you know. You remember about in the 80s, the nation this land be telling black people drinking milk to cure HIV. Which people get cured from HIV drinking milk? You know, so it's about integrity. You know, this journey is about integrity. It's not about, it's a lot of people speak, you know, but that's not me, it's heal. Which people use Moringa over here? You use Moringa, it's help you. How are you feeling when you drink Moringa? How? how? Once again. Moringa was life changing for me. I came in contact with Moringa around 2013 at a time when I was at my lowest. I would get up every single day and drink Moringa tea because of what I learned about it as far as its healing properties. Like you could purify toxic water with Moringa. So once I learned that, I started to drink it and I saw massive changes in my energy, my clarity, and just my ability to retain thoughts. And from there I've just been gradually adding more herbs into the process of healing. Well, let me tell you something, you know, Moringa is not good, you know. A lot of people use Moringa and say, I feel good drinking Moringa. 
I know somebody in LA drinking crack. He feel good drinking crack. You know, before you be eating McDonald's, how you feeling? Good, right? Before you be eating chicken, rice, bean, potato, you say I feel good. But that's not means good for you, you know? So a lot of people introduce Moringa. But I wish people get cured for Moringa over here. Somebody, the grandma be cured for Moringa? Nobody. Which people use Simos? How you feeling when you drink Simos? You know? So we need to start speaking about reality. Everybody got to speak about Moringa because I see on Google. Or somebody said, you know, Google tell you drinking milk. Milk is good for you, right? Google tell you, later you push in Google, why milk is not good for me? It tell you, no, because it's not good for your bones. You know, I know the mayor of New York, or the people from New York, give me one recognize, you know, the paper. But I'm feeling like, I don't feel like good about that. You know why? Because the mayor of New York telling people drink it, uh, tap water like, from the sink. The water is not good, you know, in America. I recommend to everybody use a cardboard filter, you know, when you shower. So you go to Las Vegas, you're going to see a lot of people with eczema, cancer skin, because the water. How are you going to be telling the people drink that water? It's not good for you. You can bring that water to the lab. It's not good for you, you know. I don't feel good about the paper, you know, that's nothing. We have a lot of work to do in the black community, you know. I go to Atlanta, a lot of people die from, uh, a lot of people saw herpes. I go to Washington, D.C., a lot of black women saw HIV. So how are we going to tell the down community drinking tap water? It's not good, you know. You go to L.A., the water is poison, you know. You go to Detroit, the water is poison. Where, is, where is the mineral in the water in New York to the mayor telling people drink the water from New York? Huh? Right? So, we need to learn about integrity. I'm going to speak about something. What is alkaline for you? Some, what is the electric food? From the herbs, from the fruits. Only plants? Or from the sun, or from your body? No, but it's only plants. Okay. Okay, broccoli is from the ground, but it's not good for you. Yeah. So you need to be a specific. Kale, kale. Kale is not alkaline. So something that is a wild and from the creator is a, not a genetic modified hybridized seed. Something that is a wild seed like planted from the bird when they fly and they get from the roots of the, after the tree sheds its uh, roots or its seeds, I mean its seeds, the bird come, pick it up, take the seed. Are you thinking you'll be eating natural food in America? The water in America is no good. You know, the soil in America is no good. How you know about heavy metal? How you clean your body from heavy metal? When you went to the high school, somebody tell you about clean your body from heavy metal? Heavy metal is in the air, it's in the water, it's everywhere, you know. So I speak about, I see KT speak about herpes, you know. So I'm going to, sp uh, going to say something. The white man tell the black people herpes one part, uh, one virus, right? Which virus for you? What? The gamma waves change the composition. Uh, the gamma waves in the fruits that we're eating and all of the toxicities that are in the air that we're also breathing, you know, it messes with our mitochondria DNA. So when we do eat the herbs, the sea moss, this helps rejuvenate the skin cells and the blood cells so we can, you know, be purified even in a toxic state and also 
keep around good energy, life pe being people that speak positive, you know, 24 7, 365. Even when times get rough, they stay complete positive, you know? But a herpes is no one virus, you know, it's one parasite. Say it again. Herpes is no virus, it's parasite. It's a parasitical infection. Absolutely. That's why you need an intracellular cleanse. With the intracellular cleanse. The herbs of the healing of the nation for you to speak. And it's sea moss, bladderwrack, uh, yellow dock. Um, there's a bunch of herbs that can heal. And also just breathing too. You know, being mindful of the state that you're in. And okay. prana. I've been here, I've been in the United States for three years, you know. I heard a lot of people say, oh, Simos cure herpes. But let me tell you something, Simos no cure herpes, you know. It's a, I'm going one more time to speak about integrity. It's a lot of people coming to this lifestyle, you know, because money. Money is good, you know. What is that? Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of people enter to this lifestyle, but you don't know this journey, you know. That's why I want to give you credit to Mama Peel, you know, Cesar, Ma, you know, Katie Dar, you know. Because these people being here, give you this messenger for too long, you know. Bro, I learned something in the black community. Every time it's coming a new healer, but you never ask to these people, where are you learning? Everybody coming with book, you know. It's not about book. I'm from Honduras. You know, I come to America, I moved to Puerto Rico because I, I heard my father, he loved Puerto Rico, so I went to learn about her over there. You know, it's about travel. You're going to learn. It's not about go to, go to, the, to the book. You know, I heard, I go to the book, I see Chaparral. You know, everybody know about Chaparral. Which people know about Chaparral? When you research a paral, where Google tell you? So, like you said, like Google and stuff like that, they're going to tell you all different types of stuff, but I learn from your father. I follow your father. I don't listen to anybody else. I don't listen to any doctor, so... From you asking me what Google tells me, I don't know what Google tells me. I know what you and your father tells me, so I, I'm not sure. So that's my answer. I know it's very high in iron, and it's a cleanser. That's all I know personally. So yeah, chaparral is amazing herb for monkey pop, you know, to clean the vaccine from your body, you know. It's good for herpes. It's good for anemic, for sickle cell. It's good for clean, um, when you have a problem with your blood, you know. It's good for diabetes. You know, you need to be careful with Google because Google tells the people chaparral is not good for, for your kidney, it's poison, it's going to kill you, you know. That's why I asked to hand about what is alkaline for you. So this one is the rattlesnake, you know. Rattlesnake is good for cure cancer, diabetes, it's good for cancer, uh, prostate cancer, it's good for eczema, you know. A lot of people, you don't know this thing. You know, I have my brother, it's called Yerba Santa. Where are you? Where are you? He's from Mexico, you know? I, heard, uh, I learned this about rattlesnake with my father, you know? One day my father be in the room. He entered to the room. I asked to him, what are you eating? He told me, give one tablespoon. I started to eat the tablespoon. It tastes like fish. He later he told me, it's, go it's going to give you energy. From that day, uh, I start to learn about rattlesnake. Yeah, I want to everybody know about the rattlesnake. It's good for prostate cancer. It's good for HIV. It's good for asthma. You know, my brother from Mexico know about that. <laughs> Much love to him. <laughs> Alkaline is about pH. It's not about I am vegan, or I am here, or I am there. It's about pH. With the pH to the plant, with the pH to the honey. Uh, me, um, KT is about one honey. I bring it to Atlanta the first time. Oh no, I bring it to New Jersey. 
Я пусть туда people nine. A lot of people call me crazy, you know. A lot of people tell me you don't know nothing. Please, a lot of things people don't know. That's why you need to travel. You need to go to different places. You know, the more honey. Uh, I remember my father in 2016, he had a problem with the eyes. You know, my father started to push the honey every morning. So I started to learn about that. You know, last year, I bring it to the United States. I introduced to the people. You know, I want to use support KT. He got the honey. You know, it's good for uh, gl gl glaucoma. It's good for problem with your eye. You know, the people use glasses. I don't know how people call it spiritual. Which people is spiritual over here? You? But let me tell you something. Spiritual people not live in reality. You know? It's fair to live in reality. It's I want to go to the universe. But what happened in your house? Where you eating? Where you pushing your mouth? Are you asked to this food is spiritual? You don't know because you're not growing that. For you play to the universe about crystals. Oh, I'm spiritual. I'm connected with the universe. For you eating dragon fruit. Dragon fruit is coming from the, from the universe. Ask it to yourself. Dragon fruit coming from the universe. So how you know you're spiritual? The what? You. How? So, so this is good, I guess. Uh, in inclination to this conversation with a beautiful being, I want to say silence, and I want to give thanks to Dr. Zevi, Alfredo Bowman, to the earth, water, wind, and fire, to the ethers, to the human kingdom, H-U-E-M-A-N, Ma'at infinite intelligence, to the plant kingdom, to the animal kingdom, we give revenance. Your father spoke about an herb in some of uh, the lectures that Mr. G put on, and I've, sometimes I don't sleep at night, you know? Like Tesla slept uh, one hour, he held the ball in his hand, and when it dropped, he got back to work. So, saying that, I sometimes study your father's work, and he talk about Pachamama. People call it ayahuasca. It's a natural DMT. And if you ever want to go to another dimension, this will take you to a clear out. If you want to clean out your colon, and you want to clean out your brain because not only your body you have to clean out, you have to clean out your thoughts. You have to clean out your metaphysical mitochondria DNA because every single centimeter of drop of blood carries seven uh, terabytes of information inside of your DNA, RNA, DEA. So as you cleanse it out with the DMT, mushrooms, psychedelic, mescaline, we're talking about real uh, opiates, real certain type of peyote, certain type of uh, bufo, 5-EMO, DMT. We're talking about um, cambo. So, you know, I've been through the jungle all around the world, so I'm going to give you back the table, but when you take these certain psychedelic entheogens like mushrooms, it can take you to, you know, see the northern lights through another existence. So that's the spirit for you. It goes deeper to mama. So back to mama is when you go do the medicine or you with the medicine, like right now we're speaking to the ethers. I cannot speak to you without a spiritual connection to Ra, Israel, you know? You the El, there's Ra, there's Isis. So when you go down to comedic information and get through layman terms and theologies, you know, these spiritual connections can get kinetic connection to the metaverse and the, and the universe. I, 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 I believe in, or not believe in nothing, but the quantum field, the spider web that uh, KT was speaking about. And if Mama Pill's gonna get up there, you know, uh, maybe she could help me out, back me up a little bit on this one. How you can be a spiritual, you're going to help, let somebody help you. You need to know, or you don't know, you know, it's not. <laughs> I love you, brother. I just, love. To, I just wanted to quote on what you guys were saying about the spiritual, that um, 
For years I've been reading and I've been finding out when we say spiritual, we also mean mental. And just reading the thousands of books, yes, the nutrition is important, but we also have to realize the power of affirmation and, and declarations. If you get it out your mind, you get it out your behind. To sum it all up from dozens of books I've read over the years, from many different sources. If you get it out your mind, what if you don't have access to medicine? But let me tell you something. What is my for you? You know, when you, I open your brain, I'm only going to, I'm only going to, see, I open your head, I'm only going to see your brain. But you got more than one brain. What is that second brain? You got you right here. But we will be eating to feed that brain. Yes, I understand that, but you can also eat from the sun. The what? You can also eat from the sun. Like y'all said earlier, fasting. I love it. Right? Yeah. But when we control this, and I was telling a lot of people this around COVID, everybody was going crazy. And I said, and I read the book, and it says, if you get it out your mind, you get it out your behind. But if you're listening to the programming, you get in fear, you get in worried, and you're listening to that television, which is nothing but a suggestion, just think about how the hypnotists use it all the time. They put people under, and they be barking like a chicken and doing all this other stuff. We, we are what we think and what we eat constantly. So what are you reading? Are you reading something to build you up? Or are you reading, or are you reading something or listening to something that put you down? So we got, to, we got to deal with that too. And it's not like we being delusional. No, you have to speak the best about you. Because if you don't, then most likely you're not going to put the best in you. So we need to know the difference about food and nutrition. McDonald's food, you know. Nutritionist drinking like Simos, you know, it's nutritional, it's good for you. Ask it to yourself. He speak about everything starting here, right? Ask it to yourself before you put that chicken in your mouth, something's wrong over here, right? Everything is starting here. You know, everything that sees is starting here. You're learning something, America. It's in here. You know, we have already the knowledge. We have everything we need. But we no can unify because the ego, is so much ego in America, you know. I go to Mexico, he know the healer too. He walk with no shoes. He cure cancer, cure herpes. He's very humble. I come into my black community in America. Oh, I am God. I am king. How you know you God? How you know you king? We, we the more sick people in the world, but we call, we try to pass, oh, we God, we keen, you know? We need to be more humble. We need to be more, with the word? Um, hey, what? Yeah, humble. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a question. See, everybody have a question, a little bit nervous, you know? So, if there any, anybody over here has any question, you have a, you're free to ask me whatever you want to. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to ask you a question. Uh, my question is just quick. Um, my mother is dealing with lymphatic uh, cancer. And, you know, me, I'm very open to um, herbs and lifestyle change and um, my bad um, herbs and lifestyle change I was wondering while she's going through chemotherapy is there a protocol or herbs that will help the um, effects of chemotherapy um, that you guys would recommend I'm going to recommend to you Anamu you know what? can you repeat that Anamu Gineheng Anamu Guinea Hen Weed, Peterveria Aliasia, Congo Root, those are all the names. Anamu, Peterveria Aliasia, Guinea Hen Weed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, somebody over here was 
Here we go. Oh, Katie got it, you know. All right. I have a question here, Victor. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So I've studied your father thoroughly. I've watched you know, all the videos on YouTube. And there's this one video where he mentions him doing a fast and uh, eventually getting to the point where he drank his own urine um, for regenerative properties, hydration properties. So I want to kind of pick your brain and ask you, what do you think about urine therapy in the form of healing? Um, and why is that not as prevalent as, I guess, herbal therapy? Um, I did urine therapy, not in here, in Honduras. I don't recommend to nobody in the United States doing it because it's different environment, you know? <laughs> See, I need to be in a clean environment to do that, you know? It's good. But it, I don't recommend over here, your body needs to be clean before you do that, you know? Yeah. Peace, Brother Bowman. I run a substance abuse treatment center, and I get so, so many people addicted. Addicted to what? Addicted to different drugs, alcohol, in your best estimate, in your best knowledge base, what would you recommend for individuals from our community, the underserved, underprivileged, that are fighting through pain and trying to self-medicate through? What would you recommend? Valerian root or the mushroom, the magic mushroom, you know? That's room. True. Yeah. Or the San Pedro cactus, you know. Iboga too, but it's, it's strong. <laughs> you know, the, the San Pedro cactus is like the mushroom, you know. But it's like, it gives you something like more like Mexico people or people in Ecuador. The San Pedro cactus people call like the grandfather. The mushroom is the keys. So I did want to tell just uh, before. Before I come to here, I mix the muggy mushroom with the, uh, with the cactus. It's make you like, oh, it's make you relax, you know. It's like, help you with mentally problem, with depression, you know. So you're addicted about any drug, so it's cleaning for your system. Anybody's about trauma, it's good for you. How do I get it and where do you get it? <laughs> Thank you, brother. I know sell this, you know, it's like illegal in the United States. It's illegal? Yeah. In the US? <laughs> huh? Like what? There's a, there's a couple um, states that have it decriminalized right now, like Detroit, um, I think even DC. Um, you got to look it up. But there are places in the states you can get it, you can use it. Um, but Jamaica, there's a, there's a brother and a sister in here right now. Y'all can raise your hands. They're in the back. They have a retreat in Jamaica, and they offer that service. So you might want to holler at them. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> huh? You know, in the San Pedro cactus grow in California, you know, Arizona, the Peyote too. So, yeah. Victor, excuse me. Um, I travel the world to do medicine in different places. Sometimes uh, in America, you can't get the psilocybin, but it's becoming legal like marijuana is about to be federally legal. It's uh, getting legal now. But there are, uh, like you said, people that do retreats. So if you look online, Instagram, TikTok, and other places, there's a place called Rhythmia. You know, I went there a while ago. Necessarily, you really want to go to Peru. Like he said, the brother KT, to do Iboga. And when you go do Iboga, you got to make sure, right now, you want to do entheogens, mushrooms first. 
because your body is not going to be able to handle some iboga, some peyote, and some ayahuasca, which is Pachamama. And right now, if you clean and alkaline your body, you'll be able to take these entheogens. But remember, if your body is not alkaline to take these medicines, there are people that went in comas that stood there for eight months, came out, and this is people that practice the medicine. So when you go to the jungles and you go to Costa Rica, Peru, and you travel even to Colombia to get these uh, different tinctures, different medicines, this will help your mitochondria DNA. I'm just sharing this with you guys right now. I used to smoke crack when I was a young kid. The CIA put it out here. We didn't realize, you know, the drugs that were out here. Fentanyl right now is destroying our communities as we speak right now. So right now, I, the only way I stopped doing cocaine and crack cocaine was actually listening to Dr. Zebi's uh, handbook to go to Costa Rica or to find out, you know, carbonated water. And then once I went to California up in the mountains, I just got a little lady, an angel, she said, learn about this uh, ayahuasca. I found out it was Pachamama where I can go do it at. It changes your circulatory system to the point where people that's going through synthetic foods, you have synthetic pharmaceutical drugs over the counter. You have Tylenol. You don't realize when you give your son a Tylenol, he's nine out of 10 times might do drugs later on because of prescription. Then after that, they're gonna take the Percocets and I'm not gonna keep on going to those drugs and then they're gonna get on to dope fentanyl. But if you don't get into your knowledge instead of going to Harvard and get your degrees, you listen to my man here and Dr. Zebi's degrees online on YouTube, you're gonna learn how to change your mitochondria DNA to where once you change it to an alkaline base, your neurological cells are not gonna have those electrodes to go towards those synthetic ramification of foods that are drugs inside of your foods as well. So when you learn about synthetic drugs, you learn about synthetic foods. Then you learn about, like he said, organic and rooted natural alkaline herbs, you'll be good money. Thank you. Somebody else have a question? We're about to close, so like, keep it short, y'all. All right, so about the uh, Bolingo Health Group that you were talking about on Instagram, like, um, I guess, like, putting money and It's basic. I just want to know more information on the Bo Bolingo Health Group. Um, another thing, like, with the herbal medic, um, the herbs and everything, does that, is that going to affect, like, somebody that's taking blood thinner medication or, like, medications? How does the herbs affect the medications? And one last thing, um, like, Cascara Sagrada, like, when I read up on that and I talk to different people, they say you can only take it for a week's period of time or two weeks. Like, I just want to know about, like, dosage and stuff like that because I'm not a healer. I'm not you, nothing like that. But I, I help myself and I help my family, the ones around me. So I just want to know, like, a little bit more information so I'm not hurting myself or others. I haven't had any negative reactions since I learned about this or anything like that because I've been following it but I do want to know about like dosage and like my grandmother she has uh, she's on blood thinners and I guess I gave her burdock root or something like that and the doctor said that it was thickening in her blood blah 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 blah. so the bolingo dosage and what was the last one y'all yeah just like the cascar like the um what would you call it? like how long I could take the cascar sagrada and you know stuff like that I didn't know if that's too much I threw at you, but that's just what I felt. How much you take it every day? Like the Cascar Sagrada? One Kaksu, one cup of tea. Um, so like before I start buying stuff off Bolingo Balance, I was just going to a natural food store where I live. And it mm. said on the bottle, it said, take one a day. You don't want to take more than that. But when I read your stuff and I talked to people from um, Dietary Resolutions, they told me you can take, uh, take it more than once. And I know it's like you're getting information from multiple different places, but I just want to know the truth. Uh, you know, I'm going to be truthful with you. Okay. You know, or oh, truthful with everybody over here. The only people you can trust is like Ma, you know, over here, or oh, Mama Peel, oh, over here, KT, because I don't want to be negative. I don't want to speak nothing about nobody. It's like my nephew don't know nothing, you know. Right, I understand. He's doing for the money, 
it's making me sad because a lot of people feel like Dr. Sevi is a scammer, Dr. Sevi family don't know nothing. But I don't want to nobody push the legacy of my father because one person or two person, you know? Because a lot of confusion on the yeah, internet, you know? So no push pay attention to my nephew, he don't know nothing, you know? Yeah. He, he speak about he cured herpes for $3,000, he never cured nobody, you know? I understand. So a lot of people use the name of my father to try to make money, but I don't want to nobody feeling like, yo, Dr. Sevi is a scammer. No, you, to somebody stole you money, say the name, not say Dr. Sevi family, right. because me, him, him is not involved in that, you yeah, know? I got you. So yeah. And then uh, the Bo Bolingo Health Group, like it's a lot of like young people, like I'm 22 and I know you're 22, it's a lot of young people like learning about this lifestyle and it's, it's kind of hard to like reach everybody, reach a KT or reach you because there's so many people trying to learn. Is there something smaller we can do for the people that are like eager to learn, people like that are eager to go out and, 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 and look at the earth, like, like you said, not to read a book. Is there something that we can do, something smaller, easier to access, like easier available, like like I said, it's a lot of young people eager. You, my man from Mexico over here, I learned from him about you. It's a lot of young people that are into this lifestyle and want to learn. We're up next, you know what I mean? It, and, and I'm not taking nothing from nobody that's older than me. I love it, and I treat every, everybody with respect, but it's a lot of, of us that want to learn, but we don't know. I'm from America. It, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that I was taught, and I don't know, so. There's a lot of her growing America, you know. We got the Congress Crispies over here in May. You know, we got the salsa parrilla over there in Philadelphia. We got the mushroom, you know, the Shanga mushroom. It's good for cleaning the heavy metal from your body. The bladder rack, too, is growing in May. You know, in Miami, you're going over there, it's growing Damiana, it's growing Seracy, growing Kalawala. It's just a lot of herb growing here in America, you know. It's, that's why I work it right now in one project, travel around America, show people how to pick it out their own herb. Because a lot of people, it's not about the money to buy the product, you know? It's a lot of healers speak about, oh, buy my yellow dog. Yellow dog is good for him, but you need to buy over here. But the yellow dog growing free in America, you know? Brevra Crew is growing free in America. Uh, what is the northern one? Chaparral. You live in Texas or California, it's growing free, you know, over the road. It's growing mule. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y'all said y'all 22 and y'all young, right? Well, you know what you got to do. How, how long did your daddy study herbs before he even opened his mouth? Wasn't it like 17 years or something? 18, 17, 18. He just was out there. So if y'all young, y'all need to come together and go out in the woods and learn. That's what you do. We're, we motivated you. He's motivating you right now. He can't do everything. You know what I'm saying? So you, you have a voice. You should corral a group of youth, and y'all need to go throughout New York, identify, and do what you got to do. And we will be here to support that. Yeah, thank you. Hermano, yeah. ¿me puedo? Can I, add, can I add more to that? Yeah. Thank you. Hello. I'm in my 20s as well, 26 years old. We actually came from Chicago, so shout out to everybody who supported us in the back. Thank y'all so much for being here. Amazing event. Oh my gosh, y'all are the greatest. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank y'all, you. for your energy and time. You can be anywhere in the world and you choose to be here today. So you see how I'm like excited. I'm energized. That's how you want to be. That's how you want to come to your community. That's how you want to come to your peers. At the end of the day, you lead by example. We're not here to persuade or convince. If it was a million dollars right here on the floor, do I have to convince you to come and get the money? No. Why should I have to convince you to want something better for yourself? So we don't do a lot of this. We just lead by example. You're going to catch up one way or another. You know, you're going to catch up at some point. So it's really just about embodying the information, continuing to study, and being the example. So you take it in and apply it. Thank y'all so much. Thank you to you. Oh, um, I had a question, or a series of questions. I didn't want to be, yeah, I didn't want to be too um, politically incorrect. I don't want to say anything that might get you banned from anything, so I want to word these properly. How would one go about protecting his prostate? 
how would a female go on about fortifying her womb, and what are the herbs necessary for eye recovery, and if there's any type of strengthening that can be done through that type of uh, therapy. So what herbs can help the womb recover from any type of damages that is taken? Um, what herbs can help reinforce or what products should men avoid so that they're not damaging the reproductive systems? Right now we're dealing with the 5G, you know? We're dealing with the 5G, we're dealing with the heavy metal. So that's everywhere, you know? Whatever I'm going to recommend to you to protect yourself from 5G, buy the Shungai or the black tourmaline or for like the woman, he speak about prostate, right? You speak about prostate like fertility. The, Damiana, you know, it's good for the man, it's good for the woman. Damiana. Damiana. I want to invite somebody to heal from vertigo, you know, the name of the hand is King Flo, you know, I want to he give it his testimony, you know, because a lot of people tell me it's no cure, it's nothing, I know the doctor tell you it's no cure, so I want to invite this, my brother, King Flo, you know, to give it his testimony. How y'all doing? Um, my name is T Flood, so Victor invited me here because um, as y'all can see, I have uh, vitiligo here. And um, I just want to give y'all a little biography of how I came to get it and how it started going away. Um, so it started happening maybe 2012, and it started off as like uh, one, little sp one little spot on my hand. And I didn't really take it serious, so, you know, I was like everybody else still eating Popeyes and all that other crazy shit, right? So, um, one day, I just looked at it, and it looked like it got a little bit bigger. So, as I started, you know, paying more attention, a friend of mine was like, just go to the dermatologist. So, you know, I did that, and I'll never forget, it was like a little short Asian guy. And he didn't really speak too good of English, but when I went in there and I showed him this little tiny white spot, he was like... Oh, you got Michael Jackson disease. So I didn't even know what that was. So I was like, nah, I don't got that. I don't know what that is. But um, I had to go in my car and actually look it up. And that's when I figured out he was, he was talking about vitiligo. And you know, he gave me some little cream to rub on it and stuff and nothing really worked. It was just, you know, I was just going through the motions and um, you know, just accepting that I had it for a while. So uh, in my journey, I started, I became a personal trainer I started working at GNC, so-called, trying to, trying to get my health together, and nothing was working. So one day I was at GNC just reading through some of the books, and I came across a video of his father, and something about it just made me say, you know what, this man's telling the truth. And um, after that, I started to just change my diet over. I became, you know, like little fake vegans and was eating all the fake meat and all that stuff, but I went through my transition to understanding what was actually feeding my body and what was actually continuing to harm my, harm my body. And then um, as I started to kind of pull the, the negativity out of, my, out of my diet, I started to see smaller changes. Nothing still was actually bringing the pigment back, but I started to notice it wasn't actually going away as quickly. Um, so in 2018, I actually ended up going to Ghana and I met a brother, I met a brother that, was, um, that actually had healed himself from the same thing who was Ghanaian, and I just happened to walk past him, and he just walked up on me and was like, hey, hey, brother, what's wrong with your hands? So I was like, hey, you know, they, they call it vitiligo, it's no cure, you know, I, I was explaining it to him the best way I could, but he pulled out pictures of himself maybe three years prior, and his hands look worse than mine, and he had already cured it already. So he was like, I'm gonna I'm take you to Ghana with me next year. So he, he kept his word, he took me to Ghana, and when I went to Ghana, I did like this real intense cleanse with some of the elders out there. I can't tell you what the herbs were, but I know that I emptied out everything in my system. Everything came out. For about a week straight, stuff was just emptying out. And um, ever since I came back, all of my pigment had just started regenerating. Um, so then after I came back, I still didn't fully understand the concept. So I was still eating stuff that was 
slowing the healing down, like eating a lot of chickpeas and a lot of dense foods that necessarily isn't good for healing. And then once I got the hang of it and started introducing, you know, more of the stuff that Dr. Sebi talked about, more of the other herbs, I started to notice a big change. And now with fasting and fruit diets and stuff like that, my pigment is just coming back consistently. It's not going away anymore. So it's, it's a process, but, you know, every, every day I wake up, I see new pigment returning. And I just want to share that with you guys as, as a little testimony. So I want to understand everybody, for everything is one cure, you know. I cured somebody in California, um, 2018, you know, Jennifer, I don't know if everybody knows Jennifer, Mr. G know her, you know. I cured her from multiple crosses, you know. I in like, I in like Lima Park, California, you know, Jennifer coming behind me, tell me, you cured me. I don't even know, I don't know nothing about her, you know. You should tell the kids, he cured your mama. i will be like, where I cured from? From multiple sclerosis. The doctor telling her she's going to die, you know. She no can go to work, she no can walk, she no can do nothing. It right now, it's, it's, she's cured, you know. <laughs> Another one in Canada, is that's my first person I cure from herpes, you know, telling her she never going to get healed, she's cured right now, you know. I want to understand everybody, it's about the energy you push and your journey. I know this journey is not easy, I know it's difficult to eat alkaline. Which people want to eat alkaline? Everybody want to eat sugar, it's not good for you, right? Everybody wants to eat fish, it's not good for you, right? It's about push love into journey. You can drink in Simos, but if you don't believe in the Simos is going to cure to you, it's never going to be here. It's about you, it's not about me. You can buy Prada for me, you can buy Prada for Katie, you can buy Prada for him. But if you don't take the Prada, you're never going to be healed. You're your own healer, you know? You decide when you want to be healed, you decide when you want to be sick. It's everything about you. It's about nobody, you know. I want to speak about the Teosinte, you know. I don't know if somebody heard about Teosinte. Teosinte is coming from Honduras, you know. Teosinte, you can make tamales, you can make porridge, you can make whatever you want to. You know, we got a Teosinte over there. Um, I think you're going to put the, every product on my table. You can support KT, you can support Alcala and Healing Earth. Everybody will be here. Um, the price is going to be 50%, you know. It's going to be half an hour to the price. So you have the opportunity to buy. And I want to say thank you to everybody for coming, you know. I live there, so I live there. Thank you. KT. Yo, KT. I want to say thank you to KT, you know. The first time I see KT, you know, I call Mr. G. I tell Mr. G, why this nigga used too much scientific work? You know, it's very simple. You know, so somebody come to me, tell me that big trianemic drink is a saporia. KT is going to explain that to you why you have an enemy. So, we give you one paper when you come into here, you know, little paper is 50%. Uh, it's my name, and there, uh, I sign that paper. If somebody saw the paper sign, you're going to get the package, it's like cost $2,000. See your paper. Nobody have the paper? So it's two paper sign.
just take a moment. So these people are vulnerable enough to come up here and share their health journey with everyone. I just want to take a second and say that's a big deal for them to be. Because we have clients that would never get up here and say, I'm dealing with herpes simplex too. They have too much shame. So it takes a lot of courage to step out of yourself and share your journey. But y'all have no idea that healing, that's when the healing comes in. So just give it up for them one more time because it's not easy on any front. Go ahead, baby. I've been dealing with really debilitating migraines since I was young, and I've really been trying to cleanse, and this would really help me out. That's simple enough. That's, that's your story. Yes. Also, I would definitely spread the word. I've already been a Dr. Sabie's uh, advocate for a while, a while now. And it's Misha, right? Michelle. Like the slick grip. Michelle, my bad. Ah! Okay, Michelle. Give it up for Michelle. Victor about to have a hard time because I'm not picking. All right, we got the last one. What's your name? My name is Sean. Sean, give it up for Sean. All right, why do you need this package? Um, I need it. I'm from Virginia. Um, I came here because my mother is living with me right now. Um, she's got lymphoma and cancer. And, uh, it's been a long journey with you know, a lot of disrespect from the hospitals. Um, ever since I was young, my health has kind of been an obstacle. So um, that's what kind of got me into holistic healing and um, just looking at things from a different perspective. So I would use it just to continue to help my mother. She's 60, she turned 60 this year. She's a beautiful person. She raised me by herself. And uh, I'll just do anything. Sean. All right, Sean is going to be helping his mother with the package. So he came up here for someone else. Um, Sean, so you you get the package because $1,500 worth of herbs is a lot of herbs. I don't know if y'all know that. $100 worth of herbs is a lot of herbs. If you're talking raw herbs, because y'all know how Victor get down. He's just straight raw on cook, cocaina. All right? Okay? And I see why KT's tailored. He gives you these nice, cute little tonics. Ooh, let me just drink it. No, Victor is like, no, this is the healing. So it's, it's something to respect. So $1,500 worth of raw herbs is a lot of herbs. So you're prepared to cook and prepare all of those herbs until they're all gone. Because we don't, we don't like waste. I've already uh, taken over her diet now that she's living with us. And um, every morning I get up early, you know, I've got kids, I've got a, a newborn, baby's three months. And, uh, you know, I do it for her, myself, of course, because that's my mother, but also her grandchildren. And so it's, I know it's not as easy as just getting up and doing it, but I, I know I have the, uh, the determination to do it every day. To do it to us. All right, let's give it up for Sean one more time. All right, Zeraldo, help me out, Zeraldo, please. Come on, how are we gonna do this? This is tough. Is this not tough? And I, and I bet you, I'm gonna let you bust that camera though. And I know there were so many other people in this room that could have got up here and needed these herbs. So I don't think there's any one person who the people that got up here, they really needed it. How do we do this? So fair, yes, because then it's, it's no pressure. Okay, okay, so let's get Michelle. Sis, I think it's really in two-way package. I think, what can we get here? You said? So we can do it. 
Who said this? He So let's see, let's see, let's see. And then I got something else up here very, very special too for a giveaway. It's not over yet. Everyone's gonna get something for the The first one will be from Victor, and the other individuals can stop by my eyes office and get fifteen hundred dollars each person. Why can I find healing for myself? Why, why am I still dealing with this? 
So times like this, as opposed to just letting that energy fly and woo, yeah, this is all good. We high off of it. Be high and let's focus this energy into something that's really going to bring us something tangible that when we leave here, we have something to hold on to. And not just a memory of seeing this beautiful face and that beautiful face. All right. So we're going to do a little affirmation, but I got a little surprise for you. Victor say, Victor says, all bilingual balance right now, 50% off. If you if you here at the seminar, it's not for nobody else. So you can head to the back now and get what you need, okay? So if you didn't get the pack, yes, I see y'all getting up now. Do not bump at the end when we're gone, because we're going to be gone. So if you need it now, get it now while it's 50 off. Of course. All right. Those of us that are still with us, if y'all could just take a moment and be present with me. I'm just going to speak a few words over. If y'all want to, I'm sorry, I just got your first name. Yeah, we'll see. All right, everyone, let's just do this affirmation, please. Divine and loving ancestors, most high God, I ask that the energy in this room, I ask that we're able to take a piece of the energy in this room with everyone present, that they're able to have a slice of this pie for their healing. I ask that the words that were spoken today marinate and seep into us. I ask that we're able to carry and walk in the light of healing and not just talk about it. I ask that these herbs have a magical energy on them that just make you do right. They just make you eat right. Just looking at the bag makes you want to do right. It makes you want to start on your healing journey. We are excited to go on a healing journey.
Hey, how, how y'all doing? I'm Mike Meadow from Chicago. I'm going to be real quick. Uh, fellas, also protecting your prostate. Protecting your prostate. Keep your cell phones out of your pocket. We'll put them on airplane mode. Now, I also have a bio scan in the back of the room. The bio scan, it, it sends magnetic pulses through the body. Comes back with readings about your cardiovascular, brain and nerve, your vitamins, your uh, radiation, heavy metals in your prostate, your estrogen levels, and things like that. I have that in the back over by Alkaline Healing Herbs. We are with Alkaline Healing Herbs today. And you, you're more than welcome to come back and get a scan today. The scan is $25 for the scan, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, shout out to KT, Victor, Mr. G again, man. Thank y'all so much for bringing us together. It's a pleasure, it's an honor to be here with y'all, seriously. As Mike said, we're part of the vending crew that came all the way from Chicago to serve y'all today. So we're definitely happy to be spending this day with y'all. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> so my mom, sister, and I, we actually started Alkaline Healing Earth going up three years this year. We were inspired by Victor's father,
t-shirts. I'll take one. So, question is... Wow. Mind your highlights? Sorry. There's so many. I don't want to be too hard. I got a thousand questions, but I'm going to like... I'm going to be like, that ain't worth a t-shirt, K2. Attention to the lecture. Thank you. What was the name Excuse me. of the band that I came out to in the beginning? Who was listening? What's their name? Who said, who said that? Yes, you did. That's where the, that's where it came. Come on, get your shirt. Give it up. Anybody want to guess what's in here?
for this one. Don't shout out if you don't want nobody to take it from I said, we only doing hands. I need you to look and see the hand. Don't shout it out, you're getting disqualified. I'm, don't you worry about it. That one 
the crime. You go get the own
What is Dr. Sabi's full name? Yep, no one counted yet. No, I did. I just didn't count. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't count yet. I gotta count.